Now, now I will demonstrate the entire process of uh, loading the Windows debugger and restarting machine loading driver and running it uh, with debugging. First, please focus here. I start Windows debugger. It pops up. Then, Ctrl K. Click on 1394 firewire. Channel is 10. OK. It's, it uh, waits for connection. No. Target machine. It is rebooted. Now, if you can focus on this one, Tom, just briefly, once it starts booting up. That's just telling me that it, w it actually was connected. Now it's saying, okay, I'm waiting for a reconnect. that machines are connected with firewire cable. And here you see the selection that uh, the changes that we made in the boot I and I, but the, this the version of it. So we select debugger. Now if you can go back over to this one, Tom, and focus in, and you'll see this machine connect to this one. Now we are waiting. Debugger is attaching to the machine. And it's there. It's attached. That's no problem. Yes. It's searching for sources in old bed. That's oh. not. I wonder how long your vista boots. Uh, longer than you would want. <laughs> now I'm staying on this left one, right? Yeah, you no. Know? I think there's nothing to be changed there. You can yep. slowly move to okay. moving Vista. <clears throat> left, middle, or right on the screen? On the right. Uh, what part now of the screen? we will be starting of this driver holder utility. Yes, this is the OSR driver utility we talked about earlier. And on Vista, of course, you have to tell it, I want to run this as a system administrator, which is a real pain. Otherwise, it won't run. So you say, yes, run this as sysadmin, so that you have the privileges. to ask you, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to do it. And so this is the nice interface that this uh, utility, and again, it's a free utility, and it's great for doing driver development, because you can quickly load and unload your driver. Much better than system restart, <laughs> yes. which is the other possibility. <laughs> Absolutely. So it has this nice little browse function here, and it takes you right to the uh, System32 driver subdirectory, where all your system drivers are. You can give it a hint. Of course, our, our driver is called HyperVista. There's the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version. And we say, yes, we want to load that one. So down here in the bottom. No, don't start it yet. We will need to be focused in here when you right. start it. OK. So uh, it's the driver is going, it's going to be started there. The uh, driver does some debug output which will be displayed on the host machine, on the debugging machine. The bottom? Yes, the bottom here. So for those in the room, you won't be able to see this uh, on the uh, webcast, but those in the room, what this device driver is going to do is it's going to 
um, populate that virtual machine control structure for the host and for the guest, make sure everything checks out properly to call the virtual machine and launch the virtual machine, then it launches it. And then uh, Vid has written a direct write to the LEDs on the keyboard from within the virtual machine, it will light up the keyboard lights and then exit. And in the debug window, you'll get to see the, uh, the VMCS get populated and you'll see the instructions and various uh, messages coming back out of the debugger. Okay, so start it. Let me make sure it's registered. It's already registered. And here we go. We will see what of <laughs> debugging in for. And a uh, caps lock LED is light now. Yes. That was done inside virtual machine. Yes, the cap locks and the number. Num Code locks. which lights the virtual machine, no, the keyboard lets is inside the virtual machine. Mm -hmm. It accesses the keyboard post directly. Yes. 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 Because of that, it doesn't work on every computer. <laughs> and so these were the questions Vid was asking about a month ago on the board about how to, um, to get um, direct access to various, like to the yes. LEDs or to the speaker, we were trying speaker. Um, this was the one bit of information that I got because on my testing machine only the caps lock LED was functioning. So I was, deep, and that was only way of output, output I could get. So I was debugging with one bit of information. If I had to found the volume, I had to do some minor <laughs> research. Is it greater than all? <laughs> Bigger and this kind of stuff. It was really pain in the ass. So when, um, when I post all of this up on the website and I'll gather up everybody's presentation with their permission, we'll make them available for FTP, what I'll do is I'll make screenshots and video captures of the debugger so you can see and scroll through each of the debug messages and see what's happening uh, as it's debugging because I know it's difficult for you to see on the, uh, on the webcast. So. That is the uh, remote 